Hello students, now let us start with a very interesting topic of physics paper 2. Yes students, we will be starting with the topic called electrostatics. Now student, this particular topic has been divided into several modules. But in the initial few modules, we will be revising the concepts that we have learned in standard 11th. And then only we will be starting with the concept of standard 12th. So let us begin with the first module and in this particular module, we will be learning a term called charge. Right? But before starting with the term called charge, let us analyze the word called electrostatics. Right? Now if I divide this particular word, I can divide in two sections. And the first section says electro, which refers to a word called charge. And second one is static, which means at rest. So in this particular chapter, we'll be learning the effects produced by the charges at rest. So if I want to define a word called electrostatics, I can define it as study of charge or system of charges at rest is called as electrostatics, right? So this is nothing but the definition of a word called electrostatics, right? Now let us start with the term called charge or let us define the word called charge. Now student, charge is nothing but the fundamental property of a matter by the virtue of which two bodies can either attract each other or they can repel each other. So it is nothing but the fundamental property. Right? Now what is the unit of charge? Do we know? Yes, we know SI unit of charge. What is SI unit? The SI unit of charge is Coulomb. What is CGS unit? The CGS unit of charge is stat Coulomb or electrostatic unit of charge which is also written as ESU. And the relation between 1 Coulomb and ESU is 1 Coulomb. It is equal to 3 into 10 raised to power 9 ESU. Right? Now let us write the dimensions for charge. Now, do we know formula for charge? Yes, we have learned formula of charge Q is equal to IT, where I is electric current and T is nothing but time, right? And using this particular formula, I can write dimensions of charge as A raised to power 1 and T raised to power 1, right? Now, let us revise the values of charge on the fundamental particles, right? What are the three fundamental particles? The three fundamental particles are electron, proton and neutron. Right? So what is the value of charge on electron? The value of charge on electron is minus 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb. Right? What is the value of charge on proton? The value of charge on proton is plus 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb. And the value of charge on neutron is 0 coulomb. So students, if we know the total number of protons and electrons in a given body, we can calculate the amount of charge in that case. Right? Now student, if any uncharged body loses electrons, then it will become, yes, it will become positively charged. And if any uncharged body gains electrons, then that particular body will become negatively charged. Right? Now these are the few important points kindly noted down. Now let us move further. Let us revise the properties of charge. Now the first property is charge is a scalar quantity. Right? Or I can say charge can be added like normal mathematical numbers. Right? So let's take an example. I'm having first body which is positively charged, having charge plus 6 coulomb. Second body which is negatively charged, having charge equal to minus 5 coulomb. So if I calculate net charge in this particular case, in this case net charge will be plus 6 minus 5 which is equal to plus 1 coulomb. Right? So what we have learned? We have learned that charges here are being added just like scalar numbers, right? So this is the first property. And the second property is conservation of charge. We have already learned law of conservation of charge. And what does it say? It says charges can neither be created nor be destroyed, right? And it will always remain conserved in an isolated system, right? So let us take an example. Let's say I'm having first body, which is positively charged, having charge equal to plus six coulomb. Second body which is negatively charged having charge equal to minus 4 coulomb, right? So what will be net charge in this case? In this case, net charge will be plus 6 minus 4 and that is nothing but equal to plus 2 coulomb. Now if I connect a wire between these two bodies, there will be transfer of charge, right? From one body to another body, right? So after transfer of charge, let's say the value of charge on the individual body becomes plus 4 coulomb and minus 2 coulomb. So again, student, if I calculate net charge, net charge will again come out as plus 2 coulomb. Right, students? So I can say here the value of charge on the individual bodies are changing. But the net charge on a system 
on an isolated system remains constant or conserved right so this is nothing but the second property of charge which says conservation of charge right now let us move towards the third property which says charge is always quantized or it is nothing but quantization of charge and it says charge on any body can only be an integral multiple of 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb right or any charge can be written as q is equal to plus minus n e right where n is any integer and e is nothing but the fundamental charge which is nothing but equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb right so this suggests that charges like plus e minus 2 e plus 4 e is certainly possible but the charges like 0 0.5 e and 1.3 e is not at all possible so students in this particular module we have simply revised the term called charge and we have also revised the properties of charge as well right that's it for this module i'll see you in the next module till then keep learning